Did you know that being unable to lose weight or even progressively gain weight despite careful dieting and exercise is a classic sign of low thyroid function. Did you know that being tired, completely exhausted at 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, wanting to just lay down in the middle of the floor is a classic symptom of non-optimal thyroid function. Did you know that when the outside of your eyebrows start to fall off to the point that you have to pencil them in is a classic sign of low thyroid function. Did you know that when your hair is falling out you have dry skin or even just dry hair. These are classic signs of low thyroid function. Did you know that being cold all the time, your fingers, your toes are just so cold, is a classic symptom of low thyroid function? Unfortunately, ladies in menopause are also struggling with hot flashes, night sweats, and that can sometimes hide that cold feeling. Symptoms are so much more important than lab results. Of course, I check the labs, but how you feel, how you feel is more important than the results of these lab values. Because conventional medicine physicians use reference ranges, I believe it's critical to empower patients so that they know how they feel is more important than these actual reference ranges. One of the important values we look at for determining low thyroid function is your TSH. It will be very high when your thyroid is low functioning or not making enough T4. Now in some situations, your TSH will be normal, but you still may have low thyroid function. This may occur because your pituitary is in a one-way conversation with the thyroid and it's missing the fact that your thyroid is not working optimally. One of the most critical parts of a, examining a patient's thyroid lab values is the relationship between T4 and T3. You can actually have normal T4 levels and end up with low T3 levels because you're under lots of stress or because you're taking beta blockers. That's because T4, the inactive form, has to be converted to T3, the active form, to function. Now in some situations your TSH and your T4 can be absolutely normal but you can be suffering from euthyroid 6 syndrome meaning you're not converting any T3. T3 is the most important part of the actual thyroid function. A very confusing situation is where your body has normal TSH levels, T4 levels, and T3 levels, but the patient is demonstrating signs and symptoms of low thyroid function. This is due to antibodies your own body has created against your own thyroid. This is called Hashimoto's. The major medications used for treating low thyroid function include Synthroid and Armor Thyroid. Synthroid is only T4, Armor is T4 and T3. So if you're not making any T3, you can see that using Synthroid alone will not work. In managing patients with low thyroid function, lab testing can often be deceiving. The most important key in managing these patients is to make sure they're feeling better, improving fatigue, improvement in weight gain, an improvement in their symptoms and signs of low thyroid function.